the little a little unboxing. Number one. Finally got some. Unflavoured. As you guys would have seen, I've got the creatine and monohydrates. Obviously, I have been wanting that for a while. I've got the unflavoured one because I want to try and mix it in with some drinks, especially when I go into the gym. Or just drink it on its own, it's got no flavour in it, which is absolutely fine. And then I've got the MP Men's Adapt Washed Oversized Short Sleeve T-shirt in a black in a medium. If it is oversized, it might look absolutely massive on me, like a dress. So you know. Oh, I'm going to try it on but I'm going to go in the shower first because it always smells. And then the other t-shirt is the new collection. It's the MP Men's Tempo Long Sleeve Top in Black Medium in a men's obviously. But I'll show you these once I've had a shower because I always smell. Also I wanted to do a Q&A a &A as well. So. A few of you did ask me some questions, which I appreciate. I only got six questions. She's thank you very much for the questions. So the first question from Sana is goals for the rest of the year. Whether she means gym goals or normal goals, I'm gonna say gym goals, bench, fifty kg, squats, eighty to hundred maybe deadlift maybe 100 i i don't know i'll be happy between 80 and 100 normal life and goals to have a bit more money saved up than i have now which is fine because i've just paid in car insurance which is absolutely fine um just try and be happy for the rest of the year hope that i get my appointment in november and your boy starts on tea so that would be sick. That would be so fucking amazing. Um, any other goals? <sighs> just stay motivated and just keep when I go actually eventually go back to the gym after having my manky foot done. Just keep going in the gym and go at least twice a week if I can. And uh push the best of my ability. Uh so Callum said how's training? I haven't been training. I've trained once. Um, it was alright. My biceps and triceps still hurt, which is sweet. Um, it was alright. It was good to have some back, actually. Um, obviously I'm having to stay away from shoulders for now, just because I've got tendonitis, just like all there. And then just around that kind of general area of my rotator cuff as well. So at the moment it's no shoulders, just arms, biceps, triceps, and then legs. So that's the only thing I'm training on at the moment. Um, I think I might go again on Friday and just do the same again, arms, but depending on my doms because my doms are still there. <laughs> um, Callum says what's your goal with training? Like I've just said at the end of the year, bench 50, squats 80 to 100 and then deadlift 80 to 100. So that's my goals with training and obviously you just get absolutely massive mate i'm telling you i'm telling you 
Cam says, how's the new car? It's alright. Actually, tomorrow I'm actually getting the parking sensors fitted. Because my car is quite an old car. It's 2009. It's not that old, but it is. It's got no parking sensors. Well, rear parking sensors. So I'm actually getting them fitted tomorrow. So I'll be able to park with a little bit more ease knowing that I'm not going to hit anything. I haven't hit anything. But it's just been nice to have the uh, rear parking sensors back. Because every car I've had, I've had parking sensors. Except for this one. So... That'll be exciting. But the car's fine, mate. The car's absolutely fine. It's doing what it's doing for me for now. So, um, happy days. It's not a, a sportier car than I imagined, but for now it will do. And uh, hopefully I'll get the dream car that I really want. Um, Reese, when are you going to start online coaching again? Probably not for a while, to be honest. Obviously, at the moment, obviously I'm not doing shoulders at all, so I'm not able to fully train to the best of my ability i can only train a bit of this bit of this and then mostly legs um and then i'll say i'm going to try and for like a month if i can depending on my shifts at work and stuff like that um and then i'm going to be off again from the end of september for two three weeks a month that i won't be able to train legs because obviously the last time i had my foot done i wasn't able to i wasn't even able to walk for a while and then when I did eventually start walking, I could only put weight on my heel. And obviously, it took ages eventually to fit into normal shoes. Like, I wore trainers for a while. I wore open-top trainers. I wore sliders for a while. Just because of the pain and the big bandaging that I have to wrap my foot in. It was just, it's hard to put your weight back down on your foot, obviously, when you've had surgery. So, no idea, mate. I'll let you know as soon as I've recovered and... Uh, Take it from there, really, but one of them. Gotta have surgery on my other left foot to have my turnout removed. Again, not again, but obviously, if I'm not long, have my right one done, and I've got to have my left one done. Which couldn't have been saved. I managed to save it for a while, and now it, the nail's had enough now. So it's gotta go. Gotta take it off or get it removed, which I'm not looking forward to, so. Rest in peace to me. Oh, um, and then Mini Boy Ellis Chai says, Favourite thing about going, favourite thing about gym? Um, obviously, I did swap. Obviously, obviously went, we went to Pure, me and Leah went to Pure, and then we've switched to the gym group. The gym group is so much better, the people are so much nicer. If I see us filming, they'll say hi, they'll ask what we're doing, what we're filming for. Sometimes I want to know what our Instagrams are and why we film. Obviously, we do mention, you know, for my protein and just YouTube in general and just my fitness journey, blah, blah, blah. So people at the gym are, are, are really quite nice. Um, I think just being able to get out of the house because I'm in bed. I do nothing. And then I go to work. Go back to bed. I get up. Do nothing go to work so it's nice to actually take it out of some of that routine and actually think you know what i'm gonna get up early today i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna smash a sick session and most of the time 10 out of 10 it does go quite nice and it's nice to actually get some form of exercise and actually start lifting weights again like some when i first originally started training back at pure i was actually quite surprised in how heavy i could actually lift without knowing that i could lift that like my leg press went ridiculously low to like a really high weight without even knowing that I could even do that so that was sick and obviously now I'm at 115 leg press but I won't be leg pressing for a while but I might do it on Friday actually just to test but I'm not going to go too heavy because I've got a feeling as soon as I go to like 95 or 105 it's going to be wow heavy but we'll see um yeah it's just it's just the atmosphere really that I really enjoy about the do uh obviously it's, sometimes it's not easy to film by myself but other than that i like going to the gym i'll we'll just get in there get on with it and then i'm done so yeah that's my q a i'm gonna jump in the shower i'm gonna play some animal crossing with amy if she's online so i'm gonna pop her a message now and we'll play some animal crossing if you guys haven't played animal crossing i will show some footage when i get out of the shower see if you guys if you have a Nintendo Switch, please get Animal Crossing. We can be Animal Crossing buddies, and it's going to be so much fun.
We'll do the tempo one first. Very, very, very thin material. Oh, I like it. It's all right, it's all right, you know, what is this doing? Oh my god. There we go. Guys, it's all right. It's loose on the chest. It's very tight on this. This is some weight on the gut. It's nice. I like that. Ooh. It's not bad. Yeah, it's a little tight on that, but that'll be gone soon. But yeah, new tempo long sleeve shirt. I like it. Next shirt. <laughs> Guys, this is the um, adapt collection. I love this shirt. Oh my god. 